I'm Nick, welcome to All Our Questions, where I search the internet for questions that we all want answers to, and I answer them. Today's question comes from Mao Chung via Twitter, and Mao asks, is Mars really red or is it just some kind of space illusion? And if so, why? So today, we're talking about the color of Mars, and we're starting right now. Back in 1976, images from the Viking lander showed blue skies, just like we're used to seeing here on Earth, on Mars. This caused a lot of confusion because the people responsible for editing the photos color balanced the images to better match what they thought people were expecting to see. Because of this error and the questions surrounding the color of Mars, they quickly released new images where the sky was more of a tangerine color. And to this day, all of the photos that you see from the orbiters and from the rovers, all of them are color balanced in some way. But let's go back even further in time. Earlier in human history, Egyptians called Mars Decher, which means red one, because that's how it looked to the naked eye. Hey buddy, you better put some clothes on that eye before I call the police. Ancient Indian astrology also made references to the planet being red, and Greeks and Romans associated Mars with war because the reddish color was symbolic of blood. But here's the thing. Mars is covered with a layer of dust. In some places, it's up to two meters or seven feet thick. And that's why in most of the rover photos, you can see the tracks where the rover has been. And because of that, at a glance, it gives the appearance of being a red planet. But check this out. The Mars rover Curiosity drilled a hole 6.4 meters deep into the surface. When it revealed what was under the surface, it showed rock that is grayish in color. So where does the red come from? The rocks and the soil on Mars contain a lot of iron oxide. When that iron oxide is exposed to the atmosphere of Mars, it gets rusty. A video from NASA that I watched about this made the reference of things rusting on Mars being similar to how a bicycle would rust here on Earth because of our atmosphere. Because of the oxidation, when the dust on Mars gets blown around, it gets tossed up into the atmosphere and that turns the sky a reddish color. But according to NASA and the pictures that you see from the rovers and the orbiters and all of that, the landscape of Mars also has different colors. It has tan, it has browns, it even has a little bit of green in some places. But check this out, this is where it gets awesome. Imagine seeing this. Here on Earth, at sunrise and sunset, we tend to get reddish color skies, and in the day, our skies are usually bluish. I made a video about why the sky is blue, and I'll put a link to that in the description if you wanna check it out. But on Mars, sunrise and sunset can have a reddish pinkish color in the area, if you're standing on Mars looking out at it, the area where the sun is, the vicinity of the sun, has a bluish color, so it's kind of opposite. I thought that was pretty cool. Anyway, here are the things that you need to keep in mind when you're thinking about the color of Mars. The oxidation of the iron and the iron oxide in the soil gives Mars the reddish color that we're all familiar with. But there are other colors like I mentioned before, but in addition to that, remember that the photos you're seeing when released by NASA have been color balanced to make researching them easier and more familiar to the people analyzing the images. And in most cases, they don't accurately represent the true colors of Mars. Now, I hope that answered your question. And for everybody else, if you have a question that you want answered, leave it down in the comments below or send it to me on another social platform. Just remember to use the hashtag AskAOQ so that I know you want your question answered and I'll see what I can do. If you know a good place to share this video where you think someone else might appreciate it, please do so. You can do that by clicking any of the share buttons below this video. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button somewhere on this page so you can get more answers to all our questions. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.